kept try to always keep a low profile. You know, it was very difficult. Um, you know, it was always very. I mean, I can still remember one time when I got promoted to second lieutenant or first lieutenant. The commanding general had promised that he would he would be at my promotion, for the brigade for the National Guard brigade here. And so my mother's there, and they 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 pin my rank on. My mother pins my rank on. And then she kisses me right in front of the battalion. So half the you could you could hear it. Half the battalion goes, ah. Uh, the other half goes, ah. Uh. And my friend was getting promoted. My good friend from college was getting prom best friend from college was getting promoted as well. And she comes up to me later on and chews me out. How could you let your mother kiss you in front of everybody? Like I had something to do with it. <laughs> like you had a choice. <laughs> And and so you you had that going on and on and on over the years. I I, I can I, most people don't know the story. You'll love this one. Um, it probably ended my career. Probably kept me from getting promoted. Um, so I get I go to the Supreme Court with everybody in the JAG school when I'm at the JAG school for my advanced law degree, and we're getting this. It's it, every law schools do this. You go to the Supreme Court, you get sworn in. You get to hear the Supreme Court justices read an opinion, humma, humma, humma. You have a little party in the back, one of the rooms, and sometimes the justices come and shake your hands and you go, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like for lawyers, it's like seeing a rock star. You know, it's, it's like, you know, seeing Gene Simmons. Yeah, you're it's, a the, it's you're the kid. apex. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, hey, oh, it's Supreme Court <laughs> justice, right? So um, my mother is there because she's been invited to come to the State of the Union address. And so she's there and... I said, Mom, this is great. You'll get to see me get sworn in. And so the Judge Advocate General is about to be introduced to Justice Ginsburg. And the chief clerk of the court knows my mother's there. Protocol-wise, my mother outranks the Judge Advocate General, who's a two-star general. She's the state treasurer. So as the, as, the, as the Judge Advocate General is approaching Justice Ginsburg, the clerk of the court, grabs my mother to introduce her before him. And in the process, my mother grabs me and my wife and uh -oh. says, you're coming with me. And all my fellow students are watching this as this happens. So this is kind of like senior partner being upstaged by junior clerk's mother <laughs> and the junior <laughs> clerk and wife. And so now, Hello, Justice Ginsburg. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is Judy Partapinka. She's the state treasurer of Illinois. This is her son, blah, 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 blah. And my wife looks at me and says, oh, my God. <laughs> and so that was over and all that. And so I, I, my wife and I went into a corner somewhere and just didn't want to be seen. You know, if you don't look at anybody else, they won't look at you. And I go up to my mother later on. I said, Mom, don't ever do that to me again. And she looked at me. This is my mom. Mom, mom, was, just the, mom was just the way she was. She says, I handle more money in a week than that man will ever handle in a lifetime. Don't ever tell me what I should or should not do. Yes, mom, you win. That was just mom. Yeah. So basically in the military, I used to try to keep my mother at an arm's length in the military.